Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to process a lot of data. We are going to start from scratch. I'm going to go find some data on the internet and then load it into my local database. And then I'll show you how to further process all this data. We're going to be using a batch type methodology to solve this problem. I hope this video will be helpful. Let's begin. I found some data at the Social Security website. Let's download that and begin. Download and unzip that file. After unzipping that file, I notice there's 142 files that I'll have to process. I have the perfect idea on how to process all these files. The source code for this video is available at my GitHub address. See the URL above. Let's understand our tables for this solution. It starts off with, here's the name of our database. Here is the name of the schema, and this is the name of the table, raw data. Now, why did I just create it with just three columns? Just a moment ago, we downloaded all of the names from the Social Security office between the years 1880 to the year 2021. And inside of each of these files, it looks like this, a first name, the gender, and then the number of births for this particular year. Notice this is 1880. So you can see here I'm using F name to be the first name, the gender, and the num births. Now this is raw. So we're gonna take each of these files and load it into raw data. Now the goal is to take it from raw data and get it into year data. Then notice I had to add one additional column and that is the year. Now this year is very important because I only know the year from the file name. It doesn't tell me about that inside of the file. So hopefully you can see that this is where I have a working table and then I'm going to take the contents out of this working table and I'm going to put it in our production table. So you can see here, I have created a script that will take this first file, YOB 1880, and then I'm gonna load that into raw data using this bulk insert. And then after I get it in bulk insert, I'm then going to insert into year data from that raw data. And then I come up and I get the next row and notice that I truncate raw data. I build the file name, now we're on 1881. I load that into raw data, I execute that, and then I take it from 1881 into year data, and I just stay inside of this loop. So that is the goal of this script. Let's go over it line by line so you understand it. Notice on line, it begins with, I'm declaring a variable year of type integer, and I'm initializing it with 1880. Notice on line six, I say while at year is less than 2022. Well, we know my data stopped at 2021. Now, whenever you're in a while loop and you're counting, make sure you have this code in your while loop. Let's increment at year by one. So now 1880, are you 2022? Nope. Come down increment 1880 then goes to 1881. So you understand that loop now. Now I have to start off with a fresh table. Raw data can only hold one file at a time. So each loop, I'm starting over, I'm removing that. Now on line 13, notice I'm building the path. And the path is where this file exists. Notice here, YouTube, SQL, big update names, right? You see that right here. But what I have to do is I have to take this year part of it dynamically. I'm inside of a loop. So that's why I'm using this year variable. And then it's YOB and then that year, and then I stay inside of that. So now we have path, that's all done. We can now look at bulk insert. Now remember on line eight, I just told you, I just wiped out that table, all the data is gone. Now I'm gonna do a bulk insert into raw data and I'm gonna be using that file. Notice that's the variable at path. 
and then I'm a, it's a CSV file. I'm going to start on the first row. My field terminator is a comma, and my row terminator is a new line. Notice on line 15 we say set at SQL. That is the command. Then on line 24 we're going to say execute. There's a stored procedure out there called sp underscore execute SQL. It will execute this dynamic SQL statement. Now when that's complete, you know, I've loaded it into raw data. I'm then going to say insert into year data. And then I'm going to say select. Remember that year variable? Then that is going to be my first value. Remember when we created that table, my first column was called year. I want to know what year that was. And then we had first name, gender, and number of births. And that came from raw. Then I'm going to dynamically execute that SQL statement again. This is dynamic because this constantly changes. So this is the only way to do this. Now once we get done building, I mean taking the data from raw to year data, I execute it, I increment year, and then I come back up and I say, okay, can I still do it? Yes. I remove all the data from raw data. I build my new path name. I build my uh, bulk insert command. I execute bulk insert command. I take from raw to year. I execute that statement and I do it again. So I'm going to stay inside of this loop from the year 19, I mean 1880 to the year 2021. Let's do that. Let us now execute this script and you need to click on any line inside of here and then hit the execute button and then let it start working. You can see here it's saying executing. We have like five, seven seconds into this now and it's just chugging along, loading up all them files. In 16 seconds, we were able to process all them files. In 1880, it looks like there was 2,000 unique names. At the very bottom, it looks like in the year 2021, there were 31,537 rows. So quite a change on naming people. Now we can say select count to see how many rows of data that were loaded in there in 16 seconds. And it looks like a little over 2 million rows are now available for me to work on in 16 seconds. Now it's time to finish up this job. This may be a little complicated at first, but once you like walk through this several times, this is a nice method to use, to always use when we're doing this type of work. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a table called temp year data. And notice I'm going to put the first name, gender, year, and the number of births. And then F name prod. We'll get to that in just a moment. But this right here is a temporary table. I'm then going to alter that table and I'm going to put a primary key on the first name and gender. Then just like the previous script, I'm going to begin in 1880 and I'm going to do a loop until the year 2021. Here it'll fail. Now, like in the last one, make sure that when wherever you're doing a while loop, make sure you do a set, make sure we increment, because this could run from infinity and beyond. Now, before we get into this, I create a temporary table and it has a primary key. And every time I do a loop, I kind of want to reset that temp table. So notice I say truncate table pound temp year data. Then what I'm going to do is notice I say insert into that temp table and I'm going to get it from that year, year data. Remember we just built that, but I'm going to left join that with stuff that might already be inside of our end table. This is the end result. First names is it. So if I've already processed some names, they're already going to be in here and I can join. But on this first go around in this first year, 1880, there will be nothing in this table. So we'll take just all the data 
from your data for that year. Now that's in temp data. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert into first name from that temp data where that F name prod is null. Now we can go back there and explain this. So when the table first name has data, notice the alias FN. I'm using that here. Now when a record from year data and first name exist, then I put the first name here. If there is no join, no, you know, that I don't have any first name data, then this will be null. So when I say insert into this table, I'm only going to take the table, the data from this temp table where the F name is null. That means there, there is no data in first name yet. Because you see, we not only have to do inserts, we have to do updates. So this can get very, very complicated, but just think about this for a moment. We're only going to take the data from that temp table where the first name has never been processed. It is null. Now, once I put all that data from temp year data into first name, I'm going to go out to that temporary data and I'm going to delete it. Then what I can do is there are some rows that already have data. So that means I have to do the update command. And notice what I'm doing here. I'm going to set the total usage equals the total usage plus the number of births. So when we look at a name like Mary, we will know since 1880 how many children received that name at birth. So on line 46, we do our where clause to ensure we only select names that have already been inserted above making sure f name prod is not null that gets the correct data so notice this is a insert and an update then i increment my year it was 1880 now it's 1881 are you less than 2022 yes all right so let's truncate that table now we're at 1881 take all that data and then join that with first name for instance Mary was in the set 1880. Now Mary is in the set 1881 as well. When we insert into this table, when we get to this first name is null, well, Mary has already been used. So we're not going to reinsert her. This table, first names are unique names only. So when we do this command right here, we're only going to get the names that are not in first name. We're going to delete those that are is null and then I will update Mary she was originally in 1880 now 1881 we have to update her record so I think you're starting to see it now I'm gonna do one more loop so we increment year by one so now we're at 1883 so 1883 I come in here and I do the test I'm gonna truncate that work table I'm then gonna take all the data that's inside of this year data that temporary data that we worked on earlier from, 19, from 1883, I'm going to stick it into this temp DB, I mean uh, temp year data. Now, once it's in there, I'm only going to insert the ones that have not already been pushed to first name. Then I'm going to delete from temp data. And then for the ones that already exist, I'm just going to update the usage. On line 44, notice last year used. Here we can see like a name might start in the 1800s, but it may have fizzled out, you know, around 1920. They don't use that anymore. So that'd be nice to know. Then I get down, I increment my year, and guess what? We just stay in this loop until we get to 2022. We don't have that data, so we're out of there. And that's the script, my, my friends. And there you have it, team. If you are processing big data, it's best to do it in batches. This video gave you an introduction to working with big data. Two million really isn't big. However, it can present some problems if you are new to processing data. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned a thing or two. Please leave a comment below to share your experience and ask questions. If you have amigos that could use this video, I'd appreciate sharing with them. Until next time, take care.